They say art reflects life. And Lala SID is a perfect example of this. Born in Morocco, educated in Europe and the US, her work reflects Islamic life from a feminist perspective and from personal experience. The Zimli Art Museum is currently exhibiting SID Le Femme du Maroc. The exhibition consists of 17 large scale photographs. The title of the series is adapted from Eugene Delacroix's painting, La Femme des Ages. Paintings like Delacroix foster a view of the Middle East as a sensual paradise of women, rich color and exotic taste which coincided with the European occupation of Arab lands. SID uses these works as a point of departure for her own decolonizing works. I spoke to Donna Gustafson, the museum curator, to gain more insight into this beautiful exhibition. Lala Saidi is an artist who was born in Morocco and she lives currently in Boston, New York and goes back and forth to Morocco. Um, she's a contemporary artist who works in photography, she works in painting, she works in installation and film, but this series of works, Les Femmes de Maroc, is a series of photographs that she's taken. One of the things that's really wonderful about it is that it's, it's a work by a contemporary Arab woman, and she's looking at paintings that were done by 19th century, mostly male artists who were from Europe, who had come to Morocco in the Middle East, or come to learn about Morocco in the Middle East, and they had very um, sort of different understandings of what the culture was. And so Lala Asaidi has looked at what these European artists have seen as being um, exemplary of Moroccan Middle Eastern culture, and she's adapted her, her own ideas of what and her own knowledge of what Moroccan culture and Middle Eastern culture is like. And she takes contemporaries, friends of hers, friends of the family, women from Morocco who are in the United States. And she uses, um, she collaborates with them and she uses them to recreate these images that were done by these earlier painters. And she um, represents now a brand new vision of what had been a misunderstanding of Arabic culture. Well, I think it's particularly important for Rutgers students to be exposed to this artwork because Rutgers is a place of lots and lots of different cultures. Um, Rutgers students come from all over the world. Um, people in New Jersey come from all over the world. People in the United States have come from all over the world. Lala Asadi definitely knows how to inspire others through her work. I spoke with a few students who shared their perspectives on the exhibition. Her message is very intriguing in in that it's it's strong and it kind of hits you in a funny way I guess you could say um, I don't really know what else to say about it except you should come for yourself and you should experience it for yourself I mean it's a neat photo I've never seen uh, any of, of her photographs before um, as far as like the signif significance into it I don't really know. I'm not too big into art, but I mean, there's something probably significant, you know, in the way that the walls and, and the clothing that they're wearing kind of flow into each other. Uh, something is probably to be said about that, but I mean, it's really, it's an interesting photo. I think it's important for students to learn about other cultures outside of America. So does life reflect art or do art reflect life? Come out to the Zimri Museum and find out for yourself. For more information on the Lala SID exhibition, go to Zimri Museum's directs.edu. For RUTV, I'm Latifah Chambers.